Greetings, bloggers, vloggers, followers, and potters. Dustin here from Dustin's Dynasty with another edition of this week's blog vlog. It's been a week. It's been pretty interesting of a week. We've been embracing a new change while trying to get new habits of going through the motions into place. It's been quite a week. So if for those who may not have been following my story the last few months, back in December, um, the way I was transported to and from work and the program was is is in pro was going to be a process of being changed. Back in December, I started going to and from the program, from the program vans to county paratransit vans. This week, I started going from the 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 um from the the the, the, the uh, program van taking me to and from work from their program to just going straight from home to work. And it has been a very embraceful change. It's very nice change. It's worked out for the best. Um, you know, I'm getting. I know. I prepare myself. I know what to do. I know how to go through the motions. But uh, all in all, through that, I'm learning to embrace the changes that I need to make for myself to get into the, the best way um, possible to. Um, to get through things and and work with battling my inner battles that I continue to battle every day. So another thing with that is, you know that there is a daily battle that I have with my medicine. And I've had this battle for about f five years total. But I guess ever since I've been doing this, I've always had a battle with medicine. And I'm really starting to realize more and more every day how important it is and how important it is to make it a routine. And, and part of that is being part of making um, everything that I must go through uh, a part of that routine. That means taking my medicine at a certain hour, going to bed when I want to and, and go, when I need to, as opposed to when I want to. It means sometimes I have to go to bed earlier in order to get adequate sleep in order to be up in the morning and get moving and doing the things I need to do. And as such, I'm getting very good sleep now. So I guess it's part of going through the motions is indeed getting that necessary sleep. And when you have that necessary sleep, it helps in a way of keeping me engaged through the day, um, going through the motions of the day and not falling asleep during the day. Um, as I was doing in the past from what I believed was burnout, but was not burnout, but rather boredom. And uh, I think part of that was, was because I was so tired because I wasn't adhering to my medication the way that I should have. And when I wasn't, uh, I was not getting the adequate sleep that I need. Now, so far this week, uh, we've started getting mostly back on track there was one day I didn't miss, and that happens sometimes. And sometimes I have to learn not to beat myself when it hap when that happens. But get, but the important thing is to get on back on track. No matter how, if I can do it, and if I'm able to do it, then I need to do it. And I understand, you know, how the medication works for me, and how to embrace it into my um, my daily routine, and how to make it part of what it is. So. I guess that's what it was. It was it was embracing it and getting it into my part of my daily routine and learning how that would work in a part of my daily routine, and along with getting the understanding the necessity of having sleep, uh, seven to eight hours of sleep, and how important sleep plays a role in making sure that I am able to function through the day. So we know for people with autism, such as myself. Sleep is a hard thing. My medication helps me wind down my brain at night and get to sleep. But for years, I was very much against the idea because I didn't want somebody telling me I had to go to bed. And I couldn't manage the ability of, of accepting that medication is necessary and it does more than just sleep, but it also regulates my mood. And when I wasn't, my mood wasn't regulated a couple of times in the last five years, um, people drew concern to it. And I really, back in last August, the end of last August, I made a bunch of changes. Um, 
had a very manic episode. So I knew with this change coming up, in the beginning, it was just a program. And then last month, it was announced that it would be for work, too, that I would go use this tra paratransit for work, too. And therefore, I would need to embrace getting back on routine and getting back on plan with taking my medicine at regular intervals. And I do, for the most part, have done that since this since the plan has been initiated. Is it been easy? No, it has not. I mean... I just know I have to do it. When I'm tired, I do it. That's just that's just the reality of the situation. And I guess that's what I've came to and learned to embrace as part of myself is the fact that I know I have to do it. And that is what it is. It's just what it is. And um, unfortunately, it's it's the way that the world is. And I can't change anything about my medication being the way it is. Um, it's what it is. And um, I am documenting on a log when I take it and when I go to sleep and how much sleep I'm getting every day so that, um, you know, maybe down the road, we see if it's too much, but right now it's not too much. So we, you know, getting that balance and understanding where that balance is and seeing where that is. But in the end, it's learning how to do new things and picking up on concepts and learning new habits and getting into the new habits of, of, you know, learning what to do when things arise to, to be able to tackle them when, especially when it is time to, you know, to get into this new change of going to work and doing what I need to do. And especially and continuing the other routines, like going to program and such, you know, and get embracing that change in transportation that has been so long a security blanket for me, but is now I'm learning to embrace a new thing that doesn't really always, it, it, it's, it comes and it has predictability, but there's uncertainty to the predictability. So I don't always know when transportation is coming. Um, for example, it came late today to pick me up in the morning and it came early to pick me up this afternoon. So, you know, you just have to know to be ready at all times. Um, it's all about, you know, and then you may sit on the bus longer or you might not sit in the bus very long, but it's embracing, you know, what, what that may be and how that may be that, um, you know, you have to learn how it works out for you and how it, you know, understand, you know, how, how things go for you and how to embrace that new change and, and change in routine, just in general, is hard for anybody on the spectrum. But for me, I, I have a hard time dealing with big changes, especially there are changes to routines that have been very long used to over many years. And it's hard for me, it, it isn't hard for me to embrace it, but, you know, it's part of what my makeup is and it's part of, you know, it's part of being autistic is the fact that I have to, trouble embracing change. But this change has been very successful and has gone very well so far the first week. And I feel that there'll be no problems as long as I keep everything in line and I continue to keep everything in line with medication and everything and keep documenting and, and making sure that I live the life that I need to and I want to. May not be 100% what pe other people may think or want or want to need to do, but it is my life and I have to be okay with it. And I have to accept it for what it is. If that means going to bed at eight or nine o'clock at night because, well, I got up at five in the morning and I'm tired, then yeah, that's what it is. Um, it, you know, that's not, I don't have to live somebody else's way of living. And I think that was the problem with me for so long with this balancing act that I've had with this medicine for so long is that I've wanted to live other people's lives like other people, but I have to understand that I am not other people. I am Dustin. I am who I am. And if that means I have to go to bed at an earlier hour than the rest of the world, then so be it. That is who I am. And that is how um, I must relax and be ready to live the world. Um, it's not easy. I, I, I could tell you how... It, it grieves me sometimes I have to get to bed early, but usually by that time, 
I'm tired and I want to go to bed. And if I'm going to go to bed, I might as well do it the right way and not some half to ask kind of way. And just, you know, not what I was doing for so long, which is taking the going to bed for three, four hours at a time. And that's what I did the other night. I went to bed for three or four hours at a time. It was like 1030 at night and uh, it was time. And I knew I had to take my medicine, but I pondered the thought of skipping. And I had already skipped, I believe, the day before, or maybe not even the day before, the day before the the day before the day before. And I knew I wanted to keep things going. So that's what I did. I kept things going and I took the medicine and I knew I would be home in the morning that I could I could sleep a little bit extra if I had to. And really all I did was sleep that extra hour that would have normally been the time. So it really wasn't that bad of a problem. But I had it in my mind, my mom is part of the being, the mind over matter that is telling you that, you know, that you don't need, it was part of the mind over matter for so long in my brain it said, you don't need the medicine, you need to, you know, you, you know, all this, all this garbage in my brain. And it was telling me all these intrusive looping thoughts and it was not good. It was not good. And now I realize I need the medicine and it's important to stay on track and keep on track and to go through the motions that I must go through, especially when there is a possibility of uncertainty and unexpectancy that I must endure the change and must embrace the changes that the day may bring. And I can do that so much better with the medicine. And I can feel that, you know, I can feel that embracing, I can embrace that change and do so much better with it and I can go through the motions way better than what I have in the past few months and I can tell and others can tell too so it's a good thing and I need to see it as a good thing you know I I hope that you know going forward it, it continues to be a habit and I continue to pick up on those habits and continue to make the right choices so with that being said I want to get off here tonight because I, I think that's just enough I wanted to cover but, you know, I just I feel it's important topic just to update you guys and just to sit, tell you how going through changes are really, you know, they're not if they're not hard changes like this one or they may not seem hard, then you know how to embrace them and going through the motions and adapting your schedule and being OK. That's who you are and that's OK. And it's not good. You know, being frustrated only makes things worse. And, you know, you are who you are and you can do what you can do. Um, you can't be something you're not and you have to be your authentic, genuine self. So with that being said, I want to thank you again for follow for listening tonight. Be sure to like and subscribe this video if you want to hear more content. I appreciate all my subscribers and I thank you very dearly. Um, be sure to follow me on Facebook, Instagram, uh, X, and Pinterest that handles Dustin's Dynasty. I'm on the web. That website is www.dustinsdynastyusa.com. And I have a link tree that where you can find all my links. That handle is Dustin's Dynasty. That, again, please be sure to have a good weekend. Take care of yourselves. Stay safe out there. And we'll talk to you soon. Bye for now. Hey.